All right, guys, we're coming at um, y'all again, once again, with another edition of Madame B and Neric Reviews. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the movie Hard Candy. Now, go ahead and just give us a brief overview of what Hard Candy is, Miss Madame B. Well, as most of you know, Hard Candy is a boiled sweet. but no we're talking about the movie Hard Candy with I forgot Ellen Ellen, Ellen Page Ellen Ellen, Page Ellen Page yeah and uh, Patrick Wilson yeah it's a uh, 2005 film Uh, mainly um, well it's about this She's probably 14 in this, although she... I think she was like 18. Yeah, so. she, she looks a little bit older. But yeah, yeah. she plays a 14-year-old girl um, who chats online to a, the uh, dude who I think who she thinks was a pedophile. Mm-hmm. And they meet and things just get very weird from there. I did not say weird. I would um, say weird. She basically ends up torturing a guy. Uh, really, she really does. Fourteen year old girl tortures a guy she considers a pedophile, or a sexual predator of young kids, um, particularly girls. So okay, let's talk about the movie itself, the story itself. What did you think of the story? The story was good. Um, I think it was. I mean, I I know like for me, characters, character enrichment, and you know, being being stand out and fleshed out, uh, and a lot of times in stories when it comes to that, it has to be very slow paced. And I realized the movie was very slow paced, and mm-hmm. I can see that that can be unappealing to some people. Mm-hmm. But as far as the story being slow paced, do you think that was an issue? Well, I like a good build. I mean, not like, not like a long, long bill, but I, I like a good one. It, it was a good one. Yeah, I think it was a pretty, pretty decent, yeah. Mm-hmm. Pretty. It was, it was, it was good for uh, for what it was because it did keep kind of mounting. Mm-hmm. And one thing that they did do well with the story was, you honestly didn't know if this guy was actually a sexual predator or not. Right. Um. You first you kind of do think it's his kid. I mean, you kind of think it is him because he is meeting with this 14-year-old girl. And But then as things start to go haywire, she starts to get a little bit more extreme and she starts torturing him and stuff. You're like, okay, well, maybe he's not one because he actually, he's actually, you know, pleading with her about this. Even to the point of... Well, this, these things are spoiler filled, so y'all just get ready for them. Even to the point where she was ready to cut his balls off. He didn't even admit it then. So it was like, maybe he wasn't it. But then at the, the end of the movie, turns out he he was. Or at least part of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the story was pretty pretty good. She she played she played the part good. Ellen Page did a great job in this movie. Um, I didn't think she could pull it off. I, I kind of felt like you would think that her character in that situation would be serious. And she was really serious. But she also played it like as if a kid were actually doing it. Because there were certain things she would do while she was, you know, torturing them and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, one moment she'd be deadly serious. And then the next moment she's like talking about doing something kind of immature. You know what I mean? So they did a great job of like, okay, she's torturing them. This is a serious story, but at the same time, this is a 14-year-old. So she's not going to be like dark, like a 30-year-old person would be, mm-hmm. you know? So they did a great, she did a great job with that. I got to give it to the director too. Uh, David Slade, he did a pretty good job with this too. I think this is his first yeah, feature. First, yeah. yeah. So he did a great job. What do you think about Patrick Wilson? The man? Yeah. I mean, he was pretty good. He was he was good. Played a, he can be, be considered a pedophile, I guess. 
I, I think he did a yeah, he did a great job too. I did kind of like that. Uh, but what I think most about the story, I'm gonna get to it later on. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he did a great job. So the two main leads, they they were great. Yeah. Okay. How about at some part in the film, I thought it was like a setup. I really thought that maybe she was like a young. Uh, young police officer or something mm-hmm. like that, setting them up. Yeah. Cause she kept, she she hid the books, whatever she was hiding when they met. Yeah. I thought maybe had a camera or. And she was she was very insistent. Yeah. And inquisitive. So I thought, okay, mate. Yeah, I thought she was gonna like. Yeah, we've been tracking you for a long time. I thought she, I thought she was like a like a detective or. I thought she was a detective too. You know. You, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Thought she was a detective too. <laughs> okay. Um. So the story actually did go up and down. It, it was it wasn't as predictable. It wasn't predictable. Right, and then while he was, she said he was watching her like online, would come into the chat rooms, wherever she was, but she was also watching him, right? Yeah, but the way she phrased it was like, okay, she was like, I wasn't watching you. She was like, yes, you were. Mm-hmm. But you weren't doing it. He wasn't doing it consciously. He was doing it because of the way she kept coming at him with different identities and stuff. Mm-hmm. She, yeah, he, it, it was an unconscious thing, which kept attracting him because of the way she kept coming at him. So it was kind of like she set him up, but at the same time, he kind of fell for it. He shouldn't have, been, he shouldn't have fell for it like that. So, because chat rooms, it does not matter. You have to be careful. I, I've been on chat rooms. I never met nobody on no chat room. I, I just been on there. I, I've seen, you know, like what they'll send you, or do you want to go into a private chat? Or sometimes you don't have to be nosy. But, you know, of course, that was before Facebook. But this is what I mean when I said a chat room. Okay, if you have a chat room, fine. If he was talking to her, fine. But when he got to that coffee shop or Starbucks or wherever it was that he met up with her and seen that she was 14 years old, that's when you book it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like if you engage with somebody and then you find out they're married. You know what I mean? Well, no. Of course, he wouldn't have met her if he if she was older. He already knew that she was at least below age or, you know. Okay, yeah. That's what he was looking for. Yeah, you, okay, you got a point. Yeah, you got a pretty good point. Um, I wish they did get into a little bit more about her backstory. They kept her mysterious. And the whole time you're thinking that they're, like, like you asked. You mm-hmm. pointed out something. What was her connection to the girl that came up missing? Mm-hmm. And I can understand she was this, like, vigilante just trying to seek justice and stuff. Like, well, and I, like I said, there are thousands of pedophiles, millions of pedophiles online. What is she going to do? Take them down one by one? If she would have some kind of connection to the girl, some motivation that happened to her or her, maybe her sister when they was younger, I could see that the way she wanted to get at him so bad. Mm-hmm. It, 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 no, I, I didn't see none of that. It, that's, yeah, that's it, was, it was the motivation. Uh, that was like... You're right. That was kind of like the questionable moment for her character. Mm -hmm. Was the motivation. But the rest of the movie, if they would have put that in, it would have been a very, very good movie. I think, like with him, and you could, I'm not, I think with him, okay, do you see him as being predatory? Uh, Now, he did do, he did do it. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. He made a strand. But think about it. Uh, When she came over there, do you think he was going to try to do something? I mean, I don't know. Do you think he would? Because it did to some some, some point, it did seem like he wasn't trying to do anything. Even though he did bring her over there. It's like he did set himself up. But th- what I'm saying is, do you think he would have fell through with it? Because mm. it seemed like he wasn't trying to. Even though he was kind of, he did set himself up. 
Uh, maybe if they would, if they, if she would have let it probably linger on a little bit more instead of you know spiking his drink yeah. at first, then he maybe probably would have had you try to do something. But you know she got to him first. Yeah. So I don't know if he was gonna try to do something or not, but you know he did invite her back. That he knew what how old she was, so maybe. Yeah. That, again, that's. That's one of the moments where you're not quite sure. Like, she was in control the entire time. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. You know, that's that's the point of the story. It made you seem like, okay, is he or isn't he? It, it, it It's like he was doing things, but again, he wasn't. It's like it's like he was doing things, but he wasn't doing what you... He wasn't follow through with them like you think he would do. So, in that aspect, yeah. Um, that's that was like one of the things about the movie. Also, I really would have liked for the neighbor to play kind of a bigger role because you want to see her, yeah, you only see her twice. Um, and she's played by Sandra O. I she was supposed to be, I think, on Grey's Anatomy, but I I haven't watched Grey's Anatomy. Okay, that's where I remember her from. Yeah, she did, she does play on Grey's Anatomy. So you know, I would have kind of liked her to have kind of a bigger, a bigger role in it, especially since like she was in the movie. Like she's kind of a known actress. Yeah. So, so okay, like like what kind? Like what kind of role? I I don't know. Maybe I'm not, I'm not really sure. I mean, she showed up, and I thought her showing up. I I don't know. Maybe okay. Maybe if this is what I would say. You see how at the end, the girl that he liked, she called that girl up. Mm -hmm. And the girl came over there. Mm -hmm. Maybe if it was the neighbor would have came over there. Because now it seems like kind of like the girl was kind of shooting in. It's like the whole movie, they kept talking about her. She Mm -hmm. was like this woman that he liked that got away. And then at the end, they finally introduced her. But you know, it's like weird. It's like the movie was about her, but it was, but it wasn't about her. Like she, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, the whole time she's being tortured. I mean, he, he, she's torturing this dude. She's constantly bringing up not only this girl that came up missing, but this woman that he ended up liking but left him, or she he left her, and she did get brought back at the end of the movie. And also like how, especially with the story. Was when he was like, okay, I'll tell you what you want to hear. I'll let you know the guy who actually did it. Mm-hmm. And what did she say? She already knew the guy's name. Yeah, she like she was uh, there before and then she went to him. Mm-hmm. So she got both of the guys that was actually responsible. Even though, if you think about it, they didn't, they really didn't divulge what happened to the girl. No, they didn't. So... That was. That's what I was. That's what I was talking about. I mean, more on that and her connection with the girl. Otherwise, it's just like okay, she just pretending to be this. Uh, or oh, actually, she was fourteen or whatever. Just getting online pedophiles and meeting with them. Um, yeah, think about it. Uh, she was in his car. Mm-hmm. What if it would went another way? Yeah, I honestly. I would say this, and I honestly would, and this is when it comes to the characters. The girl Haley, played by Ellen Page Haley, was a really smart girl. Mm -hmm. She was, like, on point with everything. Yeah, she had a plan. She was on point with everything. And even towards the end, when he escaped, like, did she she set that up, too? Because think about it. The roof, yeah. I'm talking like, did you think, that she planned for him to, the first time he escaped, and uh, he went to get pick the phone up, but he put the phone back down and he went to go kill her, but then she jumped him with the mm-hmm. taser. Mm-hmm. So like she was incredibly smart. And then the second time he dipped out again, what happened? She was waiting on the roof for him. Yeah, she put the, the her bracelet down there and let her to let him know she was up on the roof. She's like. She told him that. She said, you're going to be down there forever looking for me. Yeah, she was on point. Like, she was, I mean, it was like Home Alone, but it was like the serious edition, like the the, the female edition. She right. went ham. 
Macaulay Culkin, you need to just sit down. In fact, I ain't watching his movies no more. I'm going to watch this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she could have, they could have had her reveal something at the end. She was my sister or. She was some girl out the way or something like that. I mean, not just some girl out the way. She, she had motive. Like, I think that's the biggest thing. The fact that they didn't establish an actual connection. All right. So it's like, what are you, what's motivating? Like, she, like, she wanted you to do this. Like, she was going, it was going to kill her if she didn't do it. Um, but yeah. So the story was actually pretty good. The acting was really good. I could definitely see how this movie actually won a couple of awards. Uh, what was it? Three awards. At the 2005 Sit Jizz Film Festival and another four at the Megala Film Festival as well as the Overlooked Film of the Year 2006. Yeah, Phoenix Film Critic. Like 2005, if this movie would have, if I'd have known this movie, if I was doing the whole top 10 thing, the YouTube thing, I would have put that on my top 10. Mm-hmm. So that was a really good movie, honestly. What did you think about the directing? Like, how the movie was set up, the pacing, the way everything was revealed. Do you think the that David Slade did a pretty good job? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know much, much about that like you do, but I, I from, from what other movie was, it, yeah, he did. So, yeah, so you, you know, when it goes to, like, directing, did the movie, like, fit? That's basically it. Oh. But, yeah. But, okay. yeah. See, I thought the movie was really good. Would have liked to, like I said, it's about the exposition. But I was very entertained. It was very suspenseful Mm -hmm. on some parts. Um, But but do you think it was sending a message about, like, the pedophilia? Like, I'm sitting here thinking about it now. It's like, okay, is it telling, is it feel like a warning to people that are into that type of thing? Okay, watch who you talking to online because you never know who you're going to get. Mm-hmm. Like, what did you, what do you think of, like, yeah, uh, like what, are the, what is the theme, the underlying theme, I want to say? I'm just basically, watch who, you, just watch who you're talking to online. It could be um, somebody undercover or it could be um, somebody who you are wronged or you are wronged that other, somebody close to that person, they're seeking you out. Yeah, basically could be anything. Um, yeah, but whoever told you got to know what you're doing. You're like, you know, like just like she did, she had everything planned. She even had a plan as to where she got in his car. Mm-hmm. You know, like okay, I'm comfortable enough with getting in his car, and then the way she looked, like looking out the window, I thought that he had done something. To one of her friends or her family or something like that, you know. I just looked up the tagline for a ja- uh, the, uh, here you go a tagline on a Japanese site for the film reads, "Red Riding Hood traps the wolf in his own game." Okay, yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, also, I did notice some things. Did you notice the color, the way the color in the film kind of changed frequency from time to time? Like, it would appear lighter and darker. I think. Why? I did notice it, and one of the things I ended up coming across on the website, you know, looking at it, it was the fact that it was used to express these characters' moods. Mm-hmm. And I had to think about it, because I did notice that. Um, like, that's good. That's good, especially with the visuals. So, visually, this is a good-looking movie. Mm-hmm. So, they did great with the visuals. So... uh in closing arguments, any last thoughts? I mean, I mean, it's. I would not show this to little kids. No. I wouldn't show it to little kids. Uh, I think it does send out a pretty good message somewhat. It's like, okay, don't do that. It, you know, for younger for younger women, uh, young girls, and young boys. Watch out, because online is filled with some crazy people. And as such, with those pedophiles, watch out, because you never know you're going to get caught up. You know, so 
best don't do it. So, any 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 closing arguments? No, none. No, not really. Well, what did you okay? What would you rate the movie? Um, maybe a three and a half, four. I gave it a 4 out of 5, too. I thought it was yeah. a great movie. So, anyways, guys, in the comment section below, let us know what you thought about Hard Candy. Did you like the performances? Did you like the story? Did you think it was a good-looking movie? Do you think? What do you think about the undertones of it? And we will catch you guys on the next review. This is Narek and Zimad and B checking out.